Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, it's partially just because it's been super hot and I've been very busy with my other businesses. I haven't had a chance to do uh, a video in a while. Uh, I've added a bunch of new cars to my collection uh, and I'm gonna start making videos again over the next week or two. But here uh, we have the new Germany series and it is fabulous. I found it yesterday in Walmart and I want to do a quick review. Uh, so I'm not going to unbox these uh, just because one, I don't have too many vehicles that are already unboxed in this line that uh, I can compare them to. So I'm just going to have a quick look at each vehicle and do a quick review and some comparisons um, where I can. All right, so I'm just going to move them all so we can have a look at each of them. Okay, so let's start off with this truck and there's the graphics it's a mercedes-benz unimog u5023 i think this is the second version of this particular vehicle that i have in my collection it is part of that polizi line so german polizi line uh, that we've seen several cars with that same livery now it's quite a nice truck front's not detailed I can't tell if it has an interior or not. Yeah, it's just too dark to tell, sorry. And then of course the back, uh, and it's empty in there, and that plastic piece on top, I would presume, comes off. Good tires, well-designed vehicle, good detailing on the side, back is not detailed. And there's the back. So I have one other vehicle that is identical, but in a different theme. So that's exactly the same vehicle in a Jurassic World theme. I'm just gonna have a quick look at that real quick, since I haven't shown this vehicle to you guys before. It's very nice. There it is, and then just the back so you can see which year it's from. Where is the license on this? This is one where I can't find the license. Um, but I'm guessing this is fairly old. It's probably uh, 2013, 2014-ish would be my guess. Oh, it's 2018, sorry, it's a 2018 license. It's not that old. And you can see it right there. There you go. Okay, so that's vehicle number one. Next, we're gonna look at this fire truck real quick. I do have several other fire tracks from this line. I am gonna do a new fire track review at some point, so I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this vehicle. This is absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, the front is not detailed, but the sides are really well done. It's a beautiful vehicle. So we've seen three or four versions of this in the different country um, series. Um, It's a Scania P360 fire truck, so it's a licensed vehicle. It's really, really well done. Beautiful red, good graphics. I really like it. Next, we're gonna look at this Mercedes-Benz. Let's a quick look at the vehicle. I feel like this vehicle has been done before and I feel like I have it in my collection, I just couldn't find it. There's the back. Black interior, or a very, very dark gray interior, I should say. Beautiful card. And uh, we've seen it before in orange, in a five pack, and you can see it right there. In that particular five pack called City Adventures 2, there it is in orange. And I know I have other versions of this in my collection. Uh, they're probably just singles, and I don't have them organized well enough to pull them in a, in a rush. I just got too many cars now which is a blessing and a dis... <laughs> okay, next we're looking at the 62 Volkswagen Beetle. It's, it's like a baby blue. 
It's a greeny, well, it's a baby blue. In some light, it does look green, but in this light, it certainly does look baby blue. And we've seen this a few times now. There's the full card. And just to show you some different versions of it. So we've got it there in red in a Christmas theme in this Christmas five pack from a few years ago. We've got it in red in this nine pack. We've got it in blue, but you can see it's a different blue. One's more baby blue, so that's another nine pack. That's a very recent nine pack from 2022 that we've uh, seen a few uh, months ago. And then we've seen it in green. And let's just have a quick comparison. So, so the green version is a Target exclusive that can only be found in the US and other countries that Target exists in. And at first I thought they were both the same color, but they're obviously not. So there is a green version. There is a light blue version. Uh, the new German version is certainly a lot lighter blue than the version we saw earlier this year in this nine pack. And we've also seen it in blue in that particular five pack that says Coffee Cruises from a few years ago. So I really like this casting. Um, I've also got it as a single. Um, but I didn't get a chance to pull them. It's, it's a great casting. Um, and I'm happy they included this in this series. Okay, next we're gonna look at the remaining two Porsches. Let's start with this, which to me, this is probably my favorite casting in this series. It's the Porsche Cayenne Turbo in black, black on black. Hard to tell if it's got an interior, I would presume it does. Um, really nice tires. It's been a while since they've done this casting and it's got all the bells and whistles. Look at that front detail, Porsche logo at the front. And the entire back detail as well. Beautiful, no number plate, but this is just an absolute stellar vehicle. And I think I'm gonna open it. So let's just open it real quick. I don't have anything to review again, but before I do that, let's just have a look at this Porsche. So this is a new casting. We've seen it once before. It's a Porsche 918 Spider. I think it came out in as a part of Mix B, 2022 Mix B. And it is absolutely lovely. Look at that. Really nice. Um, this particular mix, uh, the regular line Mix B didn't come to Vancouver. So this is the first opportunity people or collectors in Vancouver are gonna get a chance to collect this particular car. I was fortunate enough to get one from the US when my parents went down to Memphis earlier this year. And uh, I think they found it at a dollar store. So let's just do a quick side by side of the two. I mean, they look like they're different colors, but I think it's just a bounce off the yellow that makes the uh, German series version look a little bit lighter. Um, to the naked eye in natural light, it did look like it was slightly off in terms of colors, but they're very, very similar shades in reality. And uh, they're just wonderful cars. And I can't wait to have these in a bunch of different colors. I hope one comes out in black and another in white at some point. But yeah, just a really, really nice car. So give me a second, I'm just gonna open this one up and then um, we'll have a quick look at it, thanks. So to get out of the packaging, guys, um, didn't pull the turntable out because I wasn't planning to open any of these, but this vehicle is just too nice not to take it out of the packaging. And look how beautiful that is. That is a fantastic vehicle. I hope at some point Matchbox converts this into a premium vehicle. Yeah, it does look like it's got an interior. I can sort of see it. It looks like it's a brown interior. Some shade of brown, just off of the lighting we see there. You can sort of see it. Look at that. That is just a fantastic vehicle. Can't complain. I like them in real life and they look just as good as a die cast. And then just the back so you guys see it clearly. That's it for today, guys. I want to keep this under 10 minutes and we're right there. So have a great weekend and I will be doing more videos very, very soon.